What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Tuesday, September the 22nd. Pleasure to have you with us. I'm I'm sitting in the studio all by myself today. Uh, So I've got my next two guests on the phone, and they are a husband and wife dental team from uh, Columbia Healthy Smiles, Dr. Philip Batson and Dr. Elizabeth Abe. Welcome to Radio Friends. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, well, we're looking at a picture of you there, uh, Dr. Abe, that beautiful Hawaiian smile. So I'll say aloha to you. <laughs> aloha. <laughs> but, you know, we've, we've talked about many things. Going to the dentist um, that can be a, a, a scary situation for people who have not been there for a while. But let's talk about uh, when it's time to introduce a youngster to the dentist and the best way to do it. How does a mom and dad know that it's time to take their young child to the dentist? At what age should they do that? So according to the ADA or the American Dental Association and the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, um, they really recommend um, within the first six months of their first tooth or by the age of one um, is the recommendation for that. So within the first six months of when they first get their teeth, how do, yeah. you, how do you prepare a youngster? How does mom and dad prepare the youngster for going to the dentist? What should they say? Well, what we talk with parents about, you know, hopefully before they uh, bring the child in, you know, kind of depending if the kid can comprehend uh, or what they can't comprehend, but explaining to them, you know, that we're going to just look at their teeth and we encourage parents to practice at home with their kids, like, lean them back on the couch, look at their teeth, count them while they brush them at home, um, tell them to open big, use a flashlight to look at their teeth, make it a fun experience at home. So they're used to kind of uh, some of those uh, actions and things being done and that when they come into the office, it can be a fun, positive experience and something that they've already maybe had a little practice and exposure to, you know, at home. So how how do you prepare the kids when they come in the office for the first time? What do you do? Um, So I think a lot of kids get scared or because they don't really know what to expect. It's unfamiliar. They're shy. Um, It's a new place for them. So just um, explaining to them what we're going to do, showing them what we're going to do before we do anything, and um, just trying to make it a positive experience for them as a young age and slowly you know, work them up as they come more frequently to taking x-rays and doing a little bit more. Um, but we, we want it to be a positive experience. And we understand kids are very unpredictable and, you know, good days, bad days and, and whatnot. So what do you do on that first visit? Do you do x-rays? Do you actually clean their teeth or do you just examine it will depend on the child's age and their development. It, you know, if it's a if it's a one year old or a coming in, you know, we're just gonna look at the teeth and talk things over with the parent. A lot of it is dietary discussion, at home care habits. Um, if it's an older child coming in for their first visit, you know, maybe they're five or six and it's their first visit, uh, then you know, if X-rays are needed. Uh, for the examination, they'll be taken then and, you know, a cleaning and uh, and just, you know, polishing of the teeth and things like that. So a lot of it just kind of depends at what stage of the de- development the child's at, you know, when their first visit occurs. Yeah. And the most important thing is to keep it on a positive note, both for the parents and for the kids, correct? Right. Yeah. Yes. All parents, right. I mean, kids can really feed off of their parents' energy. Now, now let's turn to adults now. Why is it important for an adult to come and have regular checkups and have your teeth cleaned? 
Why is it not just good enough to floss your teeth, maybe water pick, and brush on a regular basis? Why do you have? To, why should you go every six months to have your teeth professionally clean? Well, what the things you mentioned, Paul, those are all great things to do at home, and what we definitely want people to do at home: um, the brushing for two minutes, two times a day, flossing daily, uh, water picking as necessary as well. You know, those are all great things. Uh, but to uh, come in for the professional cleaning, uh, really, those have limitations for what they can reach and clean at home. And so over time, uh, plaque and bacteria can build up uh, below the gum line, and sometimes that plaque can turn into what uh, is, uh, is called calculus, or, or another word for that is tartar. And uh, once that uh, develops, uh, inflammation of the gums can happen, and that really can't be cleaned off with a toothbrush or even floss or a water pick. It needs the specialized uh, tools that uh, the hygienist or dentist uses to clean off the teeth. And uh, by not having that done, it can then cause inflammation of the gums, uh, which can lead down a path to potential gum disease. And so that's why coming in for those regular cleanings and checks uh, just help to keep those uh, that buildup from um, progressing and getting worse over time. Yeah. What, what, what is the number one cause then of gum disease? Would you say that would be plaque building up on the teeth? Yeah, just poor oral hygiene um, would probably be the number one factor there. There are also other um, factors that contribute towards gum disease. The bigger ones are smoking um, and diabetes. Smoking and diabetes, diabetes can call, uh, cause gum disease also? Yes, it does um, cause more bone loss and can lead to what we call gum disease or periodontal disease. Yeah. All right. Well, the, the bottom line is uh, for good, healthy mouth, you do need to go into the dentist on a regular basis every six months or so. Have your teeth cleaned professionally and just check also check for that oral cancer, right? Uh, that's how my mother's oral cancer was detected just by her regular dental uh, visit every six months. That's right. Yeah, those, uh, that screening for the oral cancer is, is important, and that is a, a common starting place for it and why uh, dentists take a look at that when patients come in for those regular checks right. as to just so early detection can be accomplished. Right, and it, it's so important to go to the dentist. I know uh, a lot of times you, we don't think it's pleasant, but actually, once you get in there and you get in that chair, you guys make me feel very comfortable. All right. If people well, want more, you. if people want more information, uh, your website at Columbia Healthy Smiles. What is it? It is www.columbiahealthysmiles.com, and our phone number is eight seven five seven zero seven one. Okay. The husband and wife team of Dr. Philip Batson and Dr. Elizabeth Abe which gives us a little bit of Hawaii here in central Missouri. Aloha to both of you, and thank you for joining us today. Okay? Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.